The Henrico High School community is remembering 17-year-old Diamond Brown Mosby after she was shot and killed yesterday. Crime insider John Burkett talked to her basketball coach and her uh, drumline instructor as well. And John, certainly they are just devastated by this loss. A lot of people devastated by this loss, Leland. People, uh, or police rather, uh, saying along Byron Street here on the East End, that's where they believe the teenage girl was shot Thursday afternoon. Coaches identify the girl as 17-year-old Diamond Brown Mosby, a treasure, they say, on the basketball court and in marching band, a tragedy they'll never forget. A three-mile backup Thursday on the Shaco Valley Bridge due to a driver pulling off and asking a state trooper for help with a passenger who'd been shot. I'm like, this can't be true. Basketball trainer Rudy Cunningham spent a lot of time coaching Diamond Brown towards victory. Come on, Diamond. But never dreamed he'd be dealing with such a devastating loss. She also attended a lot of my basketball camps that I did over the summer, um, whether it was helping serve lunch, um, and she was a participant in the camp, but she would help clean up um, whatever I needed. She was right by my side. A floor leader on the court and on the field and drumline too. Great student leader. That was like the biggest thing I took from her when I met her last year. Brown was shot somewhere near the 2700 block of Byron Street. She was driven by a personal vehicle towards VCU, but the driver decided things were getting worse and stopped in 64 West traffic to flag down a trooper for help. The teen would later die from her injuries at VCU Medical Center leaving behind friends and family stunned about her violent death. The last thing I, I remember saying to her was, go out and be great like you always do. And she was like, got you, Mr. Manuel. And kept it moving. Now, just weeks before a high school graduation, a family now prepares for a funeral instead of an anticipated celebration.